John Farrow John Villiers Farrow, CBEKGCHS was an Australian-born American film director, producer and screenwriter. In 1957, he won the Academy Award for Best Writing Best Screenplay for Around the World in 80 Days and in 1942 he was nominated as Best Director for Wake Island. Early Life Farrow was born in Sydney, Australia, the son of Lucy Villiers, née Savage, 1881-1907, a dressmaker, and Joseph Farrow, 1880-1925, a tailor's trimmer. His mother died when he was three years old. He was of English descent. Farrow was educated at Newtown Public School and Fort Street Boys High School, then passed the exams to get into the Australian Naval College at age 12. Farrow claims the Navy was downsizing and demobbing so he decided to join the merchant service as a cadet instead. He travelled throughout the Pacific, including New Zealand, Fiji, Hawaii and Canada. He studied at St. Ignatius College of the University of San Francisco in 1923 for one month, and resumed his travels. On arrival in Hollywood, Farrow fabricated his education, saying he attended Newington College, he only lived in a street below its ovals, Winchester College and the Royal Naval Academy, when he had only passed exams for its Australian counterpart. Many publications and websites still contain this information. Career Writing work Farrow started writing while working as a sailor and became interested in screenwriting after meeting Robert J. Flaherty. In 1927 it was reported he was working on a story called The Blue Danube, set in Austria. Farrow returned to the U.S. in 1927 and began working in Hollywood as a technical advisor on ship-related movies. He soon established himself as a notable screenwriter. He worked for DeMille Productions, Paramount Pictures Incorporated, and RKO Radio Pictures Incorporated. He also compiled an English French Tahitian dictionary and wrote a novel, Laughter Ends, 1933. In 1932, he went to England where he worked as a writer and assistant director on a film of Don Quixote, and briefly visited Tahiti again. Farrow returned to Hollywood and re-established himself as a screenwriter. On January 27, 1933 he was arrested while dancing at the Coconut Grove nightclub for breach of his visa. This was part of a general crackdown against illegal immigrants in the film industry. Farrow was charged with making a false statement while entering the U.S., claiming he was Romanian. Although threatened with deportation in the end he was only given five years probation, before being acquitted in 1934. Farrow received a plum appointment to work on Tarzan Escapes, 1936, but the film wound up being rewritten and reshot. Film director In 1930, it was announced that Farrow would direct his own story First Love but this did not eventuate. He signed to Warner Brothers in 1936 looking to direct and was linked with a number of projects including a foreign legion story and an adaptation of The Pit and the Pendulum. Farrow finally made his directorial debut in 1937 with Men in Exile. Following this, he accompanied his wife to Europe, where she was making a yank at Oxford, 1938, lecturing on Father Damien, about whom Farrow had written a book, and receiving a papal knighthood. On his return to Hollywood, Farrow resumed working as a director for Warners. He made several movies with Kay Francis and discovered a young Peggy Ann Garner. Farrow left his contract for a number of months, ostensibly to finish a book he was writing on the history of the papacy, and also due to disputes over the script of Kay Francis's Women in the Wind. However he soon re-emerged as a contract director for IKO. While there he made a number of highly successful B-movies, notably The Saint Strikes Back, 1939, and Five Came Back. 1939. War Service Despite his flourishing career and recently having become a father for the first time, Farrow was keen to be involved in World War II. He went to Vancouver in November 1939 and enlisted in the Canadian Navy. Farrow was appointed lieutenant in March 1940 and assigned to Naval History in the Controller of Information Unit. 
He worked on anti-submarine patrols and in April 1941 was loaned to the Royal Navy and appointed to HMS Goshawk Naval Base in Trinidad, and served as assistant to the senior British naval officer, Curacao. He contracted typhus fever and returned to naval headquarters, Ottawa, in late 1941. It was announced he would direct a Canadian war film starring his wife Maureen O'Sullivan while on leave, but this did not eventuate. Farrow was invalided out of the Canadian Navy in January 1942 at the rank of commander but remained in the Naval Reserve. In July 1943 he served as technical consultant for the proposed Royal Canadian Navy show. In May 1945 he was briefly recalled to active duty, traveling to Britain for work in connection with the Director of Special Services. Return to Directing Farrow resumed his directing career with Paramount for whom he made Wake Island, 1942, which earned him an Oscar nomination. The success of this saw him make a series of war pictures including China. He went on to become one of the leading filmmakers for Paramount Pictures, working several times with Alan Ladd. Farrow became an American citizen in July 1947. Later Years Farrow's films became less distinguished towards the end of the 1950s. He received an offer from Samuel Brunston to make two films, a biography of John Paul Jones and a story of the life of Jesus Christ, which Farrow had been trying to make for years. He only made the first one and was replaced as director on the second, which became King of Kings, 1961, by Nicholas Ray. Personal Life Farrow was a notorious playboy in his youth, being linked to Dolores Del Rio and Diana Churchill among others. In 1934 he became engaged to actress Maureen O'Sullivan and they married on September 12, 1936. Farrow and O'Sullivan had four daughters, actresses Mia, Prudence, Stephanie, Tisa, and three sons, Michael Damien, 1939-1958, Patrick Joseph, 1942-2009, and John Charles, born 1946. Maureen O'Sullivan was his second wife, after he converted to Catholicism and he received an annulment of his first marriage. Death Farrow died from a heart attack in Beverly Hills, California at the age of 58 and was buried in the Holy Cross Cemetery, Culver City. Awards and Honors Knight Grand Cross of the Order of the Holy Sepulchre by Pope Pius XI in 1937, Oscar nomination in New York Film Critics Circle Award for Directing Wake Island, 1942, Order of St. John of Jerusalem 1951, Honorary Commander of the Order of the British Empire, CBE, in 1953, Oscar and Writers Guild of America Award for his adapted screenplay for Around the World in 80 Days, 1956. His star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame is located at 6304 Hollywood Boulevard. Australian Connection As one of the few high-profile Australians in Hollywood during the 1930s, Farrow's activities were well covered by the Australian media. He accepted the Oscar won by the Australian documentary Kokoda Frontline, 1943, met Australian Senator Richard Keane, the Minister for Trade and Customs, when he visited Hollywood during the war and offered to assist in the establishment of an Australian information service in the US. He also often expressed a desire to make a film back in Australia and later made two films with Australian connections, Botany Bay, 1953, and The Sea Chase, 1955, despite having ceased to be an Australian citizen in 1947. Filmography Writer only White Gold, 1927, Titles, The Wreck of the Hesperus, 1927, Story, A Sailor's Sweetheart, 1927, Three Weekends, 1928, The Woman from Moscow, 1928, The First Kiss, 1928, Ladies of the Mob, 1928, The Blue Danube, 1928, Story, The Showdown, 1928, Titles, the Bride of the Colorado, 1928, Story, The Four Feathers, 1929, Titles, The Wheel of Life, 1929, Adaptation, 
A Dangerous Woman, 1929, The Wolf Song, 1929, Inside the Lines, 1930, Dialogue, Shadow of the Law, 1930, The Bad One, 1930, Story, Seven Days Leave, 1930, Continuity and Dialogue, The Common Law, 1931, A Woman of Experience, 1931, Dialogue and Screenplay, Based on His Play A Registered Woman, The Impassive Footman, 1932, Adventures of Don Quixote, 1933, W. English Version, Mutiny on the Bounty, 1935, Uncredited, Last of the Pagans, 1935, Original Story, Around the World in 80 Days, 1956. Director The Spectacle Maker, 1934, Also Writer, Tarzan Escapes, 1936, Uncredited, Also Writer, Men in Exile, 1937, She Loved a Fireman, 1937, West of Shanghai, 1937, Comet Over Broadway, 1938, Uncredited, Broadway Musketeers, 1938, My Bill, 1938, Little Miss Thoroughbred, 1938, The Invisible Menace, 1938, Reno, 1939, Full Confession, 1939, Five Came Back, 1939, Sorority House, 1939, Women in the Wind, 1939, The Saint Strikes Back, 1939, A Bill of Divorcement, 1940, Married and in Love, 1940, Commando Strike at Dawn, 1942, Wake Island, 1942, China, 1943, The Hitler Gang, 1944, You Came Along, 1945, Two Years Before the Mast, 1946, California, 1947, Blaze of Noon, 1947, Calcutta, 1947, Easy Come, Easy Go, 1947, Night Has a Thousand Eyes, 1948, Beyond Glory, 1948, The Big Clock, 1948, Also Producer, Red, Hot and Blue, 1949, Also Writer, Alias Nick Beale, 1949, Copper Canyon, 1950, Where Danger Lives, 1950, Submarine Command, 1951, Also Producer, His Kind of Woman, 1951, Hondo, 1953, Plunder of the Sun, 1953, Ride Barcaro, 1953, Botany Bay, 1953, A Bullet is Waiting, 1954, The Sea Chase, 1955, Also Producer, Back from Eternity, 1956, Also Producer, The Unholy Wife, 1957, Also Writer, Producer, John Paul Jones, 1959, Also Writer. Books The Bad Ones, 1930, Novel, Laughter Ends, 1933, Novel, Damien the Leper, 1937, Biography of Damien of Molokai. The Royal Canadian Navy 1908 to 1940, 1940, History, Pageant of the Popes, 1943, History of the Papacy, Seven Poems in Pattern, 1955, Collection of Poetry, Story of Sir Thomas More, 1956, Biography of Thomas More. Play A Registered Woman, 1931.